That was not a fart. That was my chair. <laughs> Goodness no. Hi guys. Hey lovely. So I'm back again today with a product haul. And um, this past month, I went to the beauty supply store and I brought a bunch of products. And I'm here to give you guys a review on the different products that I've been using. Some of the products that are staple products for me. Um, and some of the products that just don't work too well. So um, when I'm walking around on the street or sometimes or when even when I'm at work, I um, always encounter a few people that ask me, you know, well, what products you use in your hair. So this video will give you guys a great description or, you know, a lot of details on what products I use. And I'll give you guys a quick review on each of those products, whether they're a thumbs up, thumbs down, you know. But reminder, natural, all natural hair, natural hairs have different textures. So, you know, what may work for me may not work for you. What may work for you may not work for me. So it just depends on the texture of your hair and your hair type so even if I give a bad review on a product I would say don't be afraid to go and try that product unless it's like really crappy um, don't be afraid to try the product um, still go out and try it for yourself um, so let's get started so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on oils um, one of my products that you've probably heard me talk about in a previous video a lot is coconut oil um, this is one of the products that I use um, by Organic, and I usually get this at a local Walmart um, for, I don't know, it's like six bucks for this product. So, this product, I like it. Um, it gives me a lot of slip, and what I started using it for, I used to use it to put in my hair to moisture, seal in the moisture or whatever butter or leave-in conditioner I put in. But now I've been using other oils, but I still do. I still use my coconut oil for co-washing. And what co-washing is, it's when you just use a conditioner to cleanse your hair. Using too much shampoo can strip a lot of the moisture. So a lot of natural bloggers um, would suggest that you co-wash more than you shampoo. You know, if you're going to go put in a protective style for a long time, I suggest that you shampoo to make sure that you cleanse. If you've taken out a protective style, of course you need to shampoo because conditioner will not get out all of the buildup but you need that shampoo to take out all the buildup so you know maybe shampoo once a month and co-wash weekly so I use this and how I use this is I coat my hair with the coconut oil and then I coat my hair with the co-wash whatever co-wash or conditioner I'm using and I finger detangle my hair with that and it gives me a lot of slip a lot of moisture and a lot of shine so coconut oil I would say is one of my staple products when it comes to me co-washing if you see me looking to the right or down, I'm picking up a product. So my other oils that I use, um, Jamaican black castor oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, tea tree oil, and I use shea butter. Now y'all, when it's 100% African shea butter, y'all, <laughs> I live by this shea butter. I just started using it and what I do is I take all these oils that I just showed you and in here I take a few scoops of this shea butter and I mix oh there's a fly yo I'm sorry <laughs> and I mix them all together and this thing when I apply this to my hair it helps to hold in a lot of the moisture my hair is very shiny my hair is very moisturized and I really really love excuse the fly I'm sorry I really really love um, the way it makes my hair feel so this is something that I am starting to live by with my natural hair I love it 100% African shea butter so take a good look <laughs> I, I would suggest anybody to use this it's really good for your body and as well as it's good for your hair and it's good for your body so when I mix it with all of those oils and I seal that bad boy in whenever I put it in a leave-in conditioner in my hair and it just works really really well now let's move on to some gels that I use of course any natural would tell you echo styler gel so I have a big jar and I use the olive oil kind and this is only $3.99 at a local beauty supply store they have different kinds they have argan oil 
some white one or whatever but this is the one that I like to use olive oil I've tried the argan oil I didn't really like it too much and hold my hair too well but olive oil is a staple of products echo style of gel and I suggest that you stay away from gels that have alcohol so when you're buying products for your hair make sure that you read the ingredients it's very important if you see alcohol in it I highly advise you to stay away from that another paste that I use is with curls the product curls with the passion fruit curl control paste so this is what I use and this bad boy slicks down my edges boy like slicks it down on fleek <laughs> it looks really good so that's another one that I use now deep conditioners and conditioners that I use this is the hair mayonnaise, okay? I have a DIY conditioner that I use, um, that I'll do another video on, but this is one that I buy at the store. Um, pretty expensive, it's $7.99. And I think it's by Organics as well. Um, and this I can use, I use it as a protein treatment, um, and I use it as a deep conditioner, so I'll coat my hair with it, and I'll leave it in for about 15 to 20 minutes, and I need the dryer sometimes, and my curls are really refreshed. So I use this when my hair feels really, stringy or really you know brittle you know and I try to do it about at least once a month if I'm not doing my DIY so this is a staple product for me I also just purchased the argan cream of nature argan buttermilk leave-in hair milk and I use this as a leave-in conditioner guys this thing smells so good I can sniff this all day. It smells really, really good. Um, and it's really good for my hair. It leaves my hair very soft. And again, it gives my hair a lot of slip. So when I slip my fingers through it, I don't get a lot of tangles. It just melts away the tangles. Um, so yeah, I would recommend this. And I think this is a staple product for me now. So I really like that. Now, something I recommend for everybody to try at least once. You may not like it. You don't have to. But the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tangle Conditioner. Now this go inside, goes with the shampoo. I also get the shampoo. I don't use the shampoo as much as I use the conditioner. Because like I said, try to stay away from shampoos. They strip the moisture from your hair. So try um, to co-wash as much as you can. That doesn't mean you don't shampoo. You do. But not as often. Um, and I usually use this. They're about three something at Trader Joe's. And I go and stack up. <laughs> honey this is a staple product and I live by it and I just love the tingling sensation that it gives me when I put it in my hair it gives me a lot of slip which I like um, and I'm saying that because I'm on this whole journey where I want to retain a lot of length um, our natural hair grows and we have there's a lot of people that say oh my natural hair is not growing or it doesn't grow as fast it's not that your hair is not growing it's just that your hair is breaking as fast as it may be growing or faster than it's growing so you can't ever see the length you're not retaining any of the length so the hair that comes from your root you can't even see the difference because your hair ends are constantly breaking off so if you're dealing with a lot of excessive shedding breakage gonna seem as if your hair is not growing it's not that it's not growing it's just that it's breaking off badly so some tips that I would suggest is you know being more gentle and I had an issue where I felt like I wasn't being as gentle with my hair my hair is pretty good but um I think I'll be personally I want a little bit more length about to hit my two-year mark I wanted a little bit more length so I'm working on retaining more length for my second year into being natural. And that's going to be my goal is trying to, you know, hit bra strap length and, you know, retain a lot of that length that I grow. So I'm doing that by using my fingers. So I'm staying away from combs, from brushes. Not that I don't use it. Not that they're one of my staple products, staple um, things that I use for my hair. But I'm trying to really finger detangle my hair because they do say when you finger detangle, you do... Um, have less shedding so that's a technique that I'm going to try okay let's continue so those are my oh and I also purchased the cream of nature argan oil pre pure licious co-wash okay and this thing smells amazing just like the buttermilk and it's a co-wash so it acts as a conditioner and it gently cleanses removes product buildup with exotic shine so yes it does give my hair a lot of shine it does cleanse it and you know when i don't feel like using my trader joe's i like to switch up my products sometimes um i use my co-wash um, with this and i wouldn't coat my hair with coconut oil when i use a co-wash when i use a conditioner i would coat my hair with 
So next we have, oh, one more, two more for conditioners. I use the Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. And this is a leave-in conditioner that I like. It's, um, oh, I haven't even opened this yet. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's $5.99 at a local beauty supply store. Um, I love this product. It's really good. Um, it makes my hair smell very good. And I'm a fan of Cantu. Now, one thing I want to tell you about Cantu, I don't like Cantu in the summer. And I just noticed that. In the summertime, it's very humid. And my hair does not like humidity. Once there's a little ounce of humidity in the air, my hair will puff up. doesn't even care. It will puff up. And Cantu Shea Butter does not help with humidity. It does not coincide with it. It does not work well. Um, it does not keep hold my curl in the summertime. In the wintertime, I love Cantu. And that's like one of probably gonna be one of my go-to products in the winter. And I think I'm gonna do a video on my summer products, fall products, and winter products. So I realize with my natural hair, and some of you may see that too, that your hair reacts different to certain products when the when the weather changes. So when the weather began to start getting warm and hot. Cantu is not working for me. But I do love this product. It is a staple product for the winter time. And I think that's why I haven't opened it or used it. So, so far all the products that I've showed you are staple products. One that I'm going to go into is, this is Cantu Shea Butter. And it's another leave-in conditioning cream. It's in a smaller jar. I don't like this one so much. I don't like the way it makes my hair feel. Um, I kind of feel like it makes my hair feel a little stiff. Um, it doesn't give me a lot of slip. So this is one product that I don't enjoy too much. So let's go into some curling creams that I used. Um, if you know me and you say, Deanna, what would you use for your braid out? What would you use for your twist out? I used to say, Cantu Shea Butter Twist and Lock Gel. Well, this is empty. Well, it's almost, it's almost empty. This, I love this product. But like I said, I realized that this is a product that I'm going to use in the winter time. Now my twists are popping and I'll post a picture Right there so you can see how my twists are in the winter time and my twists are popping like so defined but in the summertime y'all this thing won't work with humidity <laughs> it doesn't work and I think that's why I still have a little bit left because it started getting warm I stopped using it because it just was not working for my hair so but it is a staple product for the winter now a staple product that I love, 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 love for the summertime that has helped my hair hold and give it a lot of bounce and shine. It's called Curl Defining Cream by Jane Carter. It's Jane Carter Solution. Now it's a little pricey, it's $11.99. But when I tell you it's worth it for me personally, this product, let me make sure I show it up. It works so great. You know, it defines my curls, it dries fast, it doesn't, it doesn't take forever to dry. As opposed to my twist and lock gel, it takes forever for my hair to dry. So that I didn't like about it. But this, it dries really quickly. I can do my braid outs and my hair will dry within a couple of hours. Um, it defines my curls and it works against humidity. So even when it's humid outside, I notice that my hair doesn't pop up as fast as it would if I was to use Cantu Shea Butter. So this is a staple product. I have so many staple products. So far, I think I only have like one that I don't that I don't like. Um, this is the Jane Carter Solutions Natural Twist Out Foam. I haven't tried this yet. You can see that it's still inside, and it's only six ninety nine. It's still inside the wrapper. But I want to do a um, perma set. So I'll give you guys an update when I do my perma set and show you guys how it looks and do a review on this product. So I've heard good reviews about it. Um, following Natural eighty five. Um, I'll link her um, YouTube channel below. She's awesome and amazing. That's where I get a lot of my tips from. She, I believe I got this from her. She uses this. Um, so I'm going to try this out. Also, here's a product that I don't like, and it's from Cantu. I feel bad because I feel like I'm bashing Cantu, but I really do like Cantu. But, you know, where there's good, there's always bad, I guess. This is a Cantu Shea Butter Hair Dressing Pomade. Now, I used to use it on my hair. Um, it's like a greasy kind of texture. Um, it smells amazing, though. But um, it just leaves my hair, it weighs down my hair. Um, it just leaves my hair too sticky, I, I can say. And it weighs it down. Like my, 
my braid outs are so weighed down and, and flat you know you don't really see too much body or too much bounce like you would see if i use other products so this is a product i still have a lot left and i bought this a while ago it's 3.99 very cheap but i mean try it out depending on your hair texture but i would say if your hair texture your curl pattern is very loose stay away from this it's very thick and it would really weigh your hair down now there's another one that i um have is a twirling custard um by cream of nature um it says no frizz, no shrinkage, no dryness. Um, shrinkage, no, I haven't had an issue with shrinkage when I use this. No dryness, it is very moisturizing. But frizz, with the humidity, again, um, this product does not work too well with humidity. But I do like it, and I like the way that my braid has come out when it's a cooler day. My, my hair does take to it. So I don't know if it's a staple product, but it's a product that... Um, I would continue to use and continue to try out and play with. But as far as if I know it's going to be really humid the next day, I would not use this product. One that I did not take too well was the Cream of Nature Butterlicious Curls. Um, it's also for curl types for natural hair and for transitioners. Um, I used it one time and my hair, my hair didn't hold. I got no curl pattern. It was frizzy when I took my braids out. It just didn't look good so i would not purchase this again and maybe if i realize that i'm not using a lot of these products i probably do a giveaway um for the products that i haven't put my hands in i don't want to you know give away products that i've put my hands in but you know hey if you want to save some money and you just want to test out some products i'll do a giveaway for um you know those products that i haven't really used and that i don't like so if you think that's a great idea comment below thumbs up this video and let me know if you're interested in that and I'll do a video on that and see who would win a contest on these products that I'm not using so save you some money so you can try it out instead of going and buying it and you don't like it you waste your money yeah yeah okay so what other products okay I have one more product that I that I have not used but I did purchase It's from motions and it's the pre-wash detangling butter so this, they always say before you do a shampoo, it's good to pre-poo your hair. Pre-pooing, I guess it's like putting like oil in your hair or putting some product to coat your hair so the shampoo doesn't strip too much of the moisture. So this, I saw um, Minnie Marley. It's Minnie Marley. I'll link her page down below as well. Minnie Marley uses this pre-poo. I think this is where I got it from. And let me smell it. I haven't smelled it yet nice it's very like um, a lotion kind of texture creamy very creamy and this I believe you coat your hair with this before wash this out and then you put the shampoo in so I'll give you guys an update on this when I finally use it because I have not shampooed my hair yet um, I'll probably do it um, before I go on vacation and those are some of the products that I use but here are some other things that I put in mind and as far as bobby pins and natural hairs, we like to clip up our hair. We like to do different styles. But I just want to let you guys know that when you're using bobby pins, make sure that you use the bobby pins with the little, um, the little boil, the little boil things. I don't know what it's called. Don't laugh at me. At the bottom, um, and make sure that it has, like, you know what I'm talking about. Because if you don't use that, have pins like that, it will snag your hair and you want to refrain from you know pulling on your hair and manipulating your hair too much and snagging out your ends and you know because that can cause breakage it could cause damage and it can split your ends really bad so just to you know letting you guys know that uh, and this kind of brush it's like a thinning brush i use this the one that has the little spaces i know a lot of natural hair bloggers like take out a few in the middle just so that it doesn't snag the hair too much but if you're not using your fingers and you want you feel like you really need to go in and detangle your hair i'd say you use this kind of brush um, and how you would do it is you would hold it from the root so start from the tip and then go up to the root so don't start from the top and pull it down because you pull your hair so hold it in place start from the root and start from the tip to root and, and gradually go up so that's how i do it and then soft brushes, you know, when you want to put your hair up in a bun and brush it, make sure you use soft brushes. You don't want any brushes that are too hard on your hair and can pull your edges. So I think that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions about the products that I use or any other questions or if there's any requests that you guys have, 
for me. Please let me know. Is that India? What happened to her hair? <laughs>